Hi guys, Pikazacian here. Today, you're just going to be finding out, like, who the UA trader is. Just going to try and answer the question that's been going on since season one. And we still don't have an answer to it yet. Yeah, let's get going. I've got a lot of mini theories to cover. So we're going to start out with one of the really popular ones, Himiko Toga. And I don't really know why she was ever a theory, to be honest. She wasn't present during the USJ attack. She wasn't even a part of the League of Villains. She only joined because of Stain, and that wouldn't happen for a while later. I think it was the first episode of Season 3 that she joined. So she wasn't a part of the League. She didn't know about them. So she can't be the traitor. Yeah, I know. Her quirk allows her to go undercover. That doesn't make it her. And then Izuku Midoriya is for some reason a theory. Deku is the main character. We would have seen it. It's a stupid idea to think it's Deku. And I mean, he wants to be the number one hero. You can't be the number one hero if you give hero secrets to the villains. Katsuki Bakugo. So this is even worse than the Deku theory. Kachan was taken by the League of Villains because they wanted him to join... Not only did he refuse by trying to blow up Shigaraki and Kurogiri, they tried to recruit him. He was a spy, why would they try to recruit him? Before you just say, it was a logical ruse. No, put your Aizawa's away. It wasn't because we saw it happen. We saw the whole conversation and nothing about that came up. They legit kidnapped him. <laughs> Shoto Todoroki. Don't worry, this is the last crazy one for a while. Of course it's not Shoto. He cares about all the others in his class. We know he's not selfish because he voted for Yamamoto for class rep. It's not selfish to want to win and vote yourself, but if you were selfish, you wouldn't vote for someone else. It's simple. So we know Shoto wouldn't do it for himself. But we also know he hates villains. Look at what he did during the USJ attack and the Hosu incident. And in Kamino, he was in the front lines. He helped to save Kachan from All for One. He was very central every time they needed to take down the League of Villains. So it can't be him. I know some people believe he knows Dabi, his brother Toya, is in the League of Villains, but he doesn't recognize his brother simply because Endeavor wouldn't let him near his sibling. He wasn't allowed to see Fuyumi, Natsuo, or Toya. So he he knew they existed. And now he knows Natsuo and Fuyumi. But he just didn't recognize Toya. He, he might not even know he has a brother named Toya. Like, we heard this from Natsuo pretty recently. Where he was saying, he was sitting down to have dinner with his family, like a whole family dinner, except for Ray, who's in the mental hospital forever. He said, tonight, I learned my brother's favorite food is soba. I knew nothing about him. My own little brother. Or something along those lines. I didn't look up the exact quote. So, he doesn't know his siblings, and his siblings don't know him. So, he just didn't recognize Toya. And besides, he was Jade. Ochako Uraraka. There's a theory for Uraraka. She tries to get close to Deku only for information to sell to the League. It also makes sense so she could get the money for her parents. It's a very popular theory, but it's not Ochako. 
She can't hide her feelings for the life of her, even if she doesn't think they're there. Look at her very canon crush on Deku Izuku, Izuku Deku Midoriya. She doesn't believe it herself until Ayama points it out, and even then she doesn't. But she can't hide it. She's also just too nice to do that. She's not the type to betray her classmates. Tenya Ida. There's a theory here. Tenya tells everything to Tensei, who is the real spy giving everything to the League. But why would Stain go after him? Because Stain wasn't in the League. He wasn't even fil affiliated with them. He wouldn't have known about Tensei being the spy. But Tensei was in the hospital, and he still can't walk. That doesn't mean he can't leave the house, though. It also doesn't mean he couldn't transfer a message when he was in the hospital. So this is the first pl possible one. Though class rep wouldn't do something like this, he's not... Tenya's not doing it on purpose. He doesn't know. Suyuasui. Froppy's a possible character as a likable fan favorite, and we don't know much about her, even if we'd like to think we do. But as Deku tried to say during the USJ attack, the League sent Froppy to the shipwreck zone, so they had the water skills to take down the League in that area. Why would they do that if they understood her quirk? They wouldn't. It's a stupid move. Plus, Shigaraki tried to kidnap, kid, kill her also during the USJ attack. So why this theory held up for so long, I have no idea. It's not Froppy. Minoru Mineta. When the USJ attack first happened, there were no girls in the League of Villains that we know of. Now there is, but we can't just go, Oh, okay, well this doesn't hold up for the USJ attack, but it does for everything else. We can't do that. The USJ attack was the first instance of this whole thing, and I think it was just after it when Nezu brought up the idea of a traitor. So no way is Mineta the traitor. There'd be no girls from the wannabe without the time. It's just that simple. Ishiro Kirishima. Let's just say it wouldn't be very manly of him to betray his friends like that. Done deal. Denki Kaminari. There's a popular theory about him which is weird. Apparently he does it on accident by sending electromagnetic waves to the League 100% on accident. But he can control his quirk. We all know that. But we all send out waves from our bodies all the time. Maybe Kaminaris can be used to communicate stuff with the right equipment. Or so the theory states. I can't really disprove this. It might be him, but on accident. But I can't see that happening. It'd be funny, but no, not likely. But we're not going to cross him off our list. Kyoka Jiro. She's a perfect spy with her quirk. But why would she do it? She's really passionate about becoming a hero. Just look at this line from Hero 2. I'm a hero and I've got music. She already views herself as a hero. She helped to save hostages with death arms. It just doesn't hold up. It can't be Jiro. Momo Yayarozu. Why would she? She was very passionate and helpful when saving Kachan from All for One. And before you say... One of them had to know where the hideout was in order to do that, so it had to be her if it wasn't any other people there. Well, Yamamo created a tracking device to find Kachan. I don't know exactly how it worked, but it's just not anyone who was there. We know how they tracked him down. Yuga Ayama. He wouldn't betray his cheese buddy, Deku, and he's mostly for comic relief. The League of Villains don't keep a clean base, there would be nothing shiny, so nothing in it for him. But he ate his lunch alone and still does, so he'd have an opportunity every day to give information, but I don't think it's him, it still could be, so he's still on our list. Mina Ashido. Mina was shown in Kirishima's backstory to be someone who loves helping her friends, so why would she betray them? She just wouldn't. It can't be Ashido. There's not even a theory for Ashido. Meizo Shoji. He'd have the perfect quirk to be a spy, but we've seen before he really cares about his classmates during the training camp arc. So he can't be the spy, it's just not like him. Rikido Sato. He's too forgettable, and he doesn't really have any evidence for or against him. It wouldn't be as emotional if it turned out to be him. Horikoshi just couldn't. 
it wouldn't be a good move in terms of plot. On to Saro. Although Spider-Man didn't do it, he's really just in the show to an eye caught on. He doesn't have a big enough role, though unlike Sato, he has his fair share of simps. It just can't be him because no one would really care enough. Toru Hagakure. I really don't want it to be Hagakure. She's a fun character. I don't care if you say she doesn't have a personality. She really, she kind of does. She really does. But let's look at the evidence. When the group was voting for class rep, there were only 19 total votes. Or so I've read. When you look at the names who didn't have votes, you get Ida, Uraraka, Todoroki, and Hagakure. We knew that Todor- we know that Todoroki voted for Yamamo, and Ida and Uraraka voted for Deku. But everyone else had one vote. Hagakure didn't vote, and that's the same time the schedule was stolen for the USJ stuff. Hagakure also has a good quirk for that. She could steal the schedule and it would be harder to notice her doing it, especially if she was in the room alone. But like Sato, she's too forgettable to be able to do that to most people. They Most people forget about her. Even though she was the last one I learned the name of, I always liked Hagakure. So out of the possible ones to do it, I hope it's not her. Mashiro Ojiro. Ojiro is too noble. He sticks to his ideals and would never betray his friends. Not even to save his own life. Plus, he's too forgettable. Koji Kota. He doesn't talk to his classmates, much less villains. Fumikage Tokoyami. I saved Fumi for the last one in class A because he seems sort of plausible to me. But I've never seen a theory on him. He might be the one. He doesn't know that Hawks is spying on the League of Villains, so it's a perfect way to announce it. He could also be spying on Hawks for his internship, even before that part, like, even before the part in the USJ Even before the USJ tag, where was he? I don't remember seeing him. He could have been safely somewhere in the back. He teamed up with Deku during the cavalry battle in the sports festival, Maybe he wanted some information for Shigaraki. I don't want it to be Togoyami, but he's certainly memorable enough, and there's evidence backing up the fact that it's him. Hitoshi Shinso Shinso seems like a character who could become a villain to many people. He looks apart and has a quirk that people describe as good to be a villain, but he can't be one. He hates villains and is trying his best to be a hero. He also hates it when people say that he should be a villain. To top it off, he doesn't know the plans for the Hero Corps, so he couldn't tip them off about the USJ. Nieto Monoma. Monoma really hates Class 1A. When the class was attacked at the USJ, Class 1B wasn't there, so his friends would be safe. During the attack at the training camp, however, they were. Bonoma knew he would be safe because he failed the last test. Maybe he isn't as much of an idiot that everyone says. Maybe he planned it like that. So Bonoma's going to stay on our, li- our list. It's Suka Kendo. A class rep wouldn't intentionally do that. Kendo also worked hard during the attack on the training camp to make sure everyone was safe. It can't be Kendo. I specifically remember her and Tetsu 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 taking down Mustard. That was a very small part in the episode, kind of. But I remember it very well. (laughs) Tetsu 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 Tetsu. Tetsu Tetsu can't be this by... He's just like a metal Kirishima, and Kirishima isn't the type of person to do that. Nor is Tetsu 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 Tetsu. Hawks. If you're watching this, you probably know Hawks has gained the trust of the League. So maybe he gets information from Tokoyami that Tokoyami didn't know would go to the League. But no, because the USJ attack... It really takes down a lot of theories. Hawks couldn't know about it yet. Eraserhead. No. He cares about his class too much. And, again, USJ attack. Fought really hard and almost died. 
Vlad King. He only hates class 1A. He likes his class, so it couldn't be Vlad. Even though he doesn't like class 1A, he would have ended up putting his class in danger too, so it's not Vlad. So now we have narrowed down the list to all the possible characters here. Toru Hagakure, Tensei slash Tenya Ida, Fumikage Tokoyami, Nieto Monoma, Yuga Ayama, and Denki Kaminari. And out of these possible ones, I personally think it's Tensei and Tenya. It would be a really emotional reveal for Horikoshi to reveal that Tensei is the spy. And there's really not any evidence to say it's not him, other than that he's a hero. But all these kids are heroes in training. We just don't know enough about Tensei. I don't want it to be Tensei. I don't want Ida to have to go through that stuff. To realize he gave all the information to his traitor of a brother. But it just seems like the only possible theory uh, that that uh, Horikoshi would do. Hagakure is too forgettable. Tenya and Tensei, I think, is the right one. Tokoyami is a stretch. It might be Monoma, but he doesn't really know about Class A as much. All Might as much. So, it's probably not him. Ayama's more of like a comedy character, so probably not him. Lots of people even forget him. And Kaminari is just kind of a stretch. So, do you have any other theories for these characters? Tell me if you do. And one more thing. I have a Discord server for my channel now. So if you're in interested in joining that, I'll put a link in the description and in the pinned comment. Come by. I'm active a lot. <laughs> I I know I always respond to you guys in the comments if you ask me questions. I'll do that no matter how many subscribers I get. Because I like answering questions for you guys, but Discord might be a bit faster because it takes more than two... It doesn't take two minutes for it to appear in my notification section. It just right in. So, that, I think it's Tensei and Tanya Ida.